We are in fabulous Branson, Missouri. We're sitting on this little pier, which is right across from our RV. And in the window out there, Scout is just having a field day. It hasn't left the window. No. We got here, he went into the window, and he's just been taking in all the he sights. He won't even eat. I tried to no. feed him. He's he too preoccupied. Eat. He wants to look at the ducks <laughs> and the lake and the boats and the people. People walking. and the, there's too much going on. Mm -hmm. We're probably have to close the window if we want him to eat this whole week <laughs> because he's just going to want to stay in the window. This is our anniversary. Yeah. This is, even though it's not our anniversary right now, <laughs> this is, we planned this. Yeah. To be our anniversary trip. And even before we started doing like the full time RV thing, we had talked about coming here on our 20 year anniversary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here we go, Branson. first full-time RV life disaster. <laughs> we knew we'd have these. Abrupt. Disaster. It's a doozy. Yeah. For the first one, it was, it was a doozy. Yeah. It is rough. We are, um, we're in Kansas City and we're not supposed to be in Kansas City. No, not. <laughs> not for like four more days. <sighs> you see what had happened was, <laughs> Mother, well, Mother Nature's uh, a, yeah. you know what. Mother Nature. <laughs> Why does she hate us? I don't know, man. So. Ruined our second honeymoon. I know. <laughs> Terrible. <sighs> so we'll start from the, uh, we went to bed about midnight last night. A little after midnight. And then. 1215. There was a bang on our door. At two. I don't mean a bang. I mean, I don't mean like a. And you, Excuse me. And you know what it was? It sounded exactly like I had when a flashback, we, dude. Yes. When we had our house fire. It sounded like that kind of knock. And our neighbors downstairs. It was an important knock. Josh and April banged on that door to tell us the apartment was on fire. I that could was tell. The exact same. It was a serious knock. situation. I assumed that oh, the RV was, was on fire. fire. I thought maybe it had been struck by lightning or something, yeah. I, or I don't know. Yeah. Because it had been raining all day. I yeah. just didn't know what, and it's storming. And all night. And so I, I, I just didn't know. And when you're only two hours into sleep, you, you're you not rationalizing. You're like, doom, 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 fire! Because that's the last time <laughs> we had that situation. <laughs> and then and I'm getting to the door and I'm trying to phone and I open it up and I open didn't it up. Didn't have clothes on then no, either. <laughs> just, just my drawers. Just, yeah. So I swing the door open and I guess it was like one of the park managers or yeah. a camp host or somebody. Yeah. And he's like, hey man, yeah, because we were we were lakefront. Yeah. We were right backed up to the to the lake. Uh, right across the little road is the lake. Yes. Lake uh, Taney Como. Taney Como. And um, when we went to bed, you could still the whole road was was good. You could see part of the dirt on the other side of the road going into the lake. Yeah, a little bit. So we're like, yeah. We're good but it was raining hard and for a yeah. long time yeah and he's like hey I just want to let you know the water's rising you guys might want to think about moving mm -hmm. if it gets any worse mm -hmm. and we heard some other rigs firing up and they, they were leaving yeah. and I was like eh maybe I it's, it's not gonna rise that high yeah so we looked out and yeah. it was like in the street yeah you could see a, a thin layer covering the road covering the road but it wasn't all the way across the road yet and it wasn't deep. I mean, people were still driving down the, down that yeah. road. It wasn't like impassable. And it was supposed to stop raining sometime during the night. Yeah. So we're like, eh. And plus our, our RV's a few feet off the ground. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, it'd be all right. Yeah. You go back to bed. Yeah. So we went back to bed. And then like. Tried to go back to bed. Yeah. It wasn't like easy. What to... time was it? The next? It was 10 to three. Yeah, it was almost three o'clock. Another bang. Same Very type similar. of bang. <laughs> But um, but I I had my wits about me, better this time. Yeah, because we weren't really. It only been thirty minutes. Deep sleep. Mm -hmm. And I knew it was probably water related, mm -hmm. not fire related this time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so then I opened. I'm like, this dude really wants us to leave. 
You know? But I open the door and it's the police. Yeah. And the police are like, you, got you gotta to go. go. <laughs> We didn't have an option. No, he said, we're gonna need you, you need to need go. You to go. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, man, it's not that big a deal, you know? But it had that But it that had time even it in that 30 different. minutes, it was across the road. Because you could only go a certain part out of the RV park because the, yeah, the, yeah, part, the part was flooded. Flooded mostly where we so were. Now there was only one way out of yeah. the RV park. So they were kind of concerned that that one way out was going to get blocked. You'd have everybody mm -hmm. kind of trapped there. They didn't know when the rain was going to stop. And they said they have had They've RVs had, yeah. swept away yeah. before. So they so. didn't want that to happen. Yeah. So they were not taking any chances. And then, so we got dressed real quick. We run outside and I start unhooking stuff. Yeah. I, I try to start taking stuff down. No checklist. Like in the... Two, and you know you're going to freak it. Oh yeah. Three o'clock you know in the morning. It. It's raining. It's cold. You're wet. You're in a hurry. And you got, there's fire and rescue all over the place. Yeah. And they're like, what can I do to help you to make you go faster? Faster. <laughs> and I'm like, dude. I and we have a sleeping lizard. Yeah. Rocky. <laughs> I mean, not a Rocky. Scout. Um, Scout's knocked out. He don't even know what, what is going on. Yeah. So they're like, okay, so she's doing the inside stuff like she normally does on moving days. And I'm doing the outside stuff, but I'm in a hurry. I'm missing stuff. You yeah, know? I miss stuff too. Yeah. So. We'll tell you what we missed here in a second. <laughs> well, let's get get to the rest of the story. So, <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> we get hooked up, and we get out. As we're as we're getting into the to the truck, the the police officer he's like, "Well, you can go over to the Bass Pro Shop parking lot. That's that's where, where we're sending that's people. Because yeah. it's three o'clock in the morning. You can't call another RV park and get a space no. anywhere. Um, and which I don't know why. I know because it's big. It can hold everybody, but it was barely higher in elevation than the, the camp. Yeah, it didn't make sense to me. So like, this mug like, might flood too, man. So it's like. Then you're going to bang on my stuff in like two hours and go, hey, <laughs> you need to move out of the Bass Pro Shop. And when we got out of the park, right up to the. I mean, there was just rows of RVs yeah. lined up. Because then the you're going to be stuck. Yeah. So the Bass Pro uh, parking lot was right across the street from the RV park. Yeah. And it was only like three feet think, higher uh, yeah, in elevation. Was, which um, I guess I mean, but makes a difference. I guess there was a lot of people who had already evacuated yeah. our RV park and were over there. And it was dark. Mm -hmm. It was raining. It was downpour raining. It was, yeah. So we really see. couldn't see very well. And so I didn't know how many RVs were over there. They looked packed in too. Like so, I didn't want to go in and then get trapped in there. Yeah. You know, somebody would block me in, and we didn't know if or when the RV park was gonna. And the, Open back up. the that street level uh, traffic lights were out. Yeah, the whole power was out. So yeah. that didn't help. And when I'm out, well, while I'm outside unhooking everything, our power goes out. Yes. As Leslie's coming down the stairs yes. inside. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> and she totally busts her ass. <laughs> prepared for you to say totally bust her ass uh, and like hurt her elbow did on something i i did not even know what she hit it on i don't i don't i know so our power goes out so then i'm I unhook i'm trying to unhook our stuff the guy two spots over like his little pole is like sparking and popping mm. pow pow it's like flashes this, and sparks are flying and the, i'm like standing in water <laughs> dude i'm like oh my god oh lord please don't let me get electrocuted you know and uh so i'm like trying to water. unplug the thing real fast you know? <laughs> yeah. and i got like and and so you can't get out of the water no you're in the water so i'm like man we're all gonna fry that'd be great yeah you know but uh we got it all unhooked, and and you were like a rock star, getting us hooked up. I'm impressed. Yeah. We have never hooked up in the rain. We've never in, hooked up in, in pitch in, black at night. <laughs> so this was at night, raining, 3 a.m. I had a, a camp lantern. That's yeah. all I had to use for light. And <laughs> lined us up on the first shot. Got nailed us, it. Nailed in there, and and we were we were gone. So. Let's talk about some of the stuff we screwed up. Because we have our checklist and we're trying to it move real fast. It wasn't too bad though. It wasn't terrible. Um, 
No, nothing major expensive wise. No, it wasn't expensive. So that was it good. was just a pain. Yeah, just a nuisance. I uh when I got the slide when you put the slides in and I hit the the buttons to you can hit a button to get get the RV back, back to, to where you unhooked so it, at least level wise yeah it's the same height so you can so yeah. you don't have to adjust a lot yeah and so I hit those buttons and when I did that uh, the stabilizers, the Valterra stabilizers that we have underneath the RV, they buckled. Yeah, because they yeah. shouldn't have been. They're just aluminum <laughs> frame, and they're just to keep the RV from rocking. Rocket. They're not like support. They do. They can't. They don't have like a 10,000 pound weight rating. Mm -hmm. So when I hit that button, um, yeah, RV won that fight. Yeah. And Good. one of them is fine. Yeah. Uh, just a little bent, and the other one is just toast. But we left, we left our welcome mat. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then the, so the cop was like, you forgot your mat. I'm like, I, yeah. I'll go get a new mat at Walmart. I'm like, this one is submerged in muddy, icky flood water. Yeah. Like, I don't want it. Um, I'll get a new one. What else did we forget? I didn't secure the bedroom door. Yeah, so it slammed around. Yeah, but... It didn't hurt anything. No. I mean, you can. I mean, yeah. yeah it, and then uh, we didn't lock the RV door. No, I didn't lock the front door. And you know, you get the little bar but, that you you turn and hook yeah. in front of the door, yeah. so the door doesn't swing open. But the door had unlatched okay. when we were driving, so because it she wasn't locked, why. it unlatched. So it was resting against that bar, and it banged the whole way and kind of rubbed some of the paint off of the frame. I can touch that up. Though. But um, too easy. other than that, I mean, it wasn't terrible. I think we did a really good job for. The situation. Yeah, for uh, we had 20 minutes. Yeah, total. They're to like, get you got to dress, go. Take everything down, hook yeah. up, and pull out. Yeah, if we would have been uh, too much longer, they probably would have said, "Hey, just get in the truck just and go because it's, it's going, yeah. it's getting too high, too fast, and we got to get people out of here." So, um, yeah, I'm impressed. And then, so well, we we didn't we didn't go into the, to the Bass Pro Shop parking lot because it was yeah. jammed. We didn't know how long the park would be down. Um, I saw those transformers popping and stuff, and I'm like, there's lots of water, power's out. Um, we don't want to sit in the in the Bass Pro parking lot and then either not be able to get out of there or or have to book somewhere else and, and maybe so not be able to get in there. Else. And so we just went ahead and made the decision to, uh, since we already hooked up anyway, to go ahead and come to Kansas City. And pray they take us early. <laughs> yeah, and they did. Yes. Uh, they were able to accommodate us here in Kansas City. And um, and Scout was a big factor because... He was, yeah. At night, he doesn't need the heat, but we can't let him go under 70 degrees. Mm -hmm. So we would have to run the truck, you know, if we tried to catch some hours of sleep. Yeah, They'd and to run the coincidentally, truck. today is the coldest day so far of the year. Yeah. It'll warm back up after today. It's just cold today. So we knew that today was going to be cold in in Branson. So yeah. we were like, we weren't really planning to go out and do much. Mm -mm. It was supposed to rain a little bit some more. Yeah. So we're like, well, but we couldn't just sit in the truck with Scout with it 40 degrees outside. No. Um, so we needed to get somewhere, and yeah, I just felt like from 3 a.m. until in the morning when any RV park opened would just be a long time and wasted time. We could have just drove to Kansas City. Um, so we got, so, uh, we so we did. <laughs> so we're here early. We only got to stay in Branson for like three days, yeah. which is unfortunate because we still had planned to see some friends and we planned to see my brother yeah. and we planned to go it's to Silver, Silver Dollar City, City, which we had already bought our tickets and we can't go. Yeah. Um, so we're going to probably send those to some family members. Or Lucky something. family members yeah, that received those. They live close by and, and so maybe they can go some other time. But we did get to go to see a couple of cool things. Yeah. And yeah. Um, with a short time we were there we had fun <coughs> we did have fun and and view wise it was my favorite yes, spot so that's far that's what I hate having to give up and we paid extra to be lakeside lucky us but the good thing is when they called this morning to say that they had restored power yeah. and we could come back we were already in Kansas we City. told them that because we weren't sure and we had a reptile we left and they are going to refund us the rest of our money so that's nice that is it's nice not because loss. I was thinking that we were going to lose that money and have to pay the extra money here and because we're here 
for 11 days now instead of seven. seven. Yeah. We only got the weekly rate for the week and then had to pay a daily rate after that. So it's a higher rate. So I was yeah. thinking we were going to get double tapped plus losing the Silver Dollar City, City tickets that around. we didn't get to go to. So I was thinking like, well, we're going to we're gonna be out some money. And we still are. Well, yeah, but not little, as but much. But not nearly as much. That's as cool that thought. they're going to refund the rest so, of the trip. You know, and the reason, and we have not rested. No. No. We are Once fresh. Once we got hooked up, yeah. everything set up, heated up the RV fast so Scout would be warm. Got some breakfast and some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but we wanted to, to well, talk about this while it was still fresh in our minds yeah. and, and while we were still feeling some of the emotions of the, the because there drama will be, that we just went through. There will be a crash come yeah. noon. <laughs> I foresee around noonish. <laughs> But another, it's going to be lights out. I'm going to be too tired to stay up. Another reason that we wanted to do this was because we want to make sure that you know that the RV lifestyle is not always great. Yeah, it's, it's not, not always good. fun. Uh, there are some, some bad times. but Some real good highs and some real good lows. But you got to roll with it, man. Yeah. But you also have to be prepared to to take that that physical mental yeah uh, emotional yeah because we didn't get like angry sometimes that, financial so, yeah we didn't get angry no. about having to leave i mean we were disappointed yeah but we never got like frustrated angry no and like we, if it was a vacation yeah I'd vacation remember. and that we would have yeah. we typically would have gotten really really angry about the whole situation even though there's nothing we could do about it yeah so we we're just like well we'll just we'll just move to kansas city and so we did so we're here early and so we'll just find some extra stuff to do in yeah. Kansas City. Yeah. At least we know <coughs> we can Yeah, that was a good a, a quick That was a good training sudden exercise. <laughs> move, but only minor details were were left out. Yeah, and I think that since that's the first time we were in a panic like that, I think if the time comes again, we'll think about all these things. Yeah, it won't be moment. as much of a panic. Because we're like, we've done Like, that. oh yeah, I've been in this situation yeah. before. Now, I know what to I do in a panic. Yeah. yeah. So, but I think for the situation, I think we did great. Yes. And under, you know, two hours of sleep. And I had never, I've never driven the uh, the oh, truck pulling the, the, the RV at night before. No. It, it was my first time. At night in the rain. Yeah. And Pouring on rain. two hours of sleep. <laughs> yeah. And the trip took us about four and a half hours. Yeah. And a little over two of the hours it was still raining yeah hard yeah i mean we thought we would get out of it pretty yeah. quick but we didn't and also another first was because when we left branson uh the only place to really stop on the way was uh, close yeah. to springfield yeah and there were there not like nothing great big truck stops there was not like pilots and flying jays it was no, like not for that there was like a minutes, no. the come and go and it was it was for automobiles it really wasn't yeah. for trucks but luckily, there was only two automobiles yeah. even in the whole parking lot. So that was that was an advantage exactly. for us. Yeah. So we were able to maneuver in there, get gas, yes. and get out, and uh, and not have a catastrophic yeah. issue. So that's another first. Never gassed up at the at the car lanes, lanes. with our yeah. RV hooked up. Yeah. But uh, man, it was an adventure. Mm -hmm. But you you know you gotta roll with it. I mean. This is part of the adventure, part of the story, and, you and know, Scott woke up to a whole different yeah, scenery. Yeah, he woke up like, dude. <laughs> Went to bed with Branson View. Woke <laughs> up Kansas City. <laughs> Where's my lake? <laughs> You're looking out the back window like, uh, Where's yo, the, where's the duck? <laughs> Usually, I remember like a whole ride, yeah. and then I think he put me in there and, and it looked different. Okay. And he just woke up this morning in his carrier, throw him in the window, and he's like, this ain't right. But something doesn't <laughs> look right. <laughs> Oh, but anyway, it's still fun. Yeah. Even though it was crazy hectic and and a little stressful. Yes. But I think we handled it really well. And hopefully we won't have to do it for a very long time. <laughs> yeah. And the good news is we're in Kansas City now for 11 days. Yeah. So we can chill. Yeah. Because um, we had stuff planned in Branson that we don't have now, so we can just kind of chill a little more. Yeah. We're definitely going to take a nap today. <laughs> Because I'm like spent, but we wanted to, yeah. to, to get this out there while we were still experiencing the emotion of the event, and um, 
we hope that you guys enjoyed hearing the story of our first disaster in full-time RV life and hopefully if you are out there on the road you don't have any similar situations but if you have had one and you want to tell us about it we'd love to hear your yeah. stories too <laughs> yeah. make me feel better about my fall <laughs> Like She's I, okay. Luckily, I didn't like, hit my head on anything. You should have got <laughs> up and went like. Out. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> did not nail the landing. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I totally did not. Yeah. Missed a step, twisted my ankle. I was outside, I didn't get to see it. No. It doesn't matter if it's pitch black in here, you wouldn't yeah. have seen it anyway. I probably would have heard the thud. You would have heard it. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't hear it. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> Mother <Yeah>. nature. <laughs> yeah. Got me. <laughs> Dead. Oh, oh it's man. killing me. Alright, we're wrapping it up. But we're in Kansas City, so next week we'll probably do some Kansas City stuff. Okay. Or something else if we have another... Shush your mouth. <laughs> We'll see. No, but um, shit. <laughs> we appreciate you watching and stick around because you'll probably hear some more shenanigans from time <laughs> to time. But um, it's it's crazy that we had fun in a stressful time. <laughs> yeah. But uh, normally it takes like years to look back and laugh. Yeah. We can look back and laugh a few hours later. Because we're sleep deprived. <laughs> yeah. We're not in our right mind. No. We've only had one well, cup of coffee. I don't know that you're ever in your right mind. <laughs> But we're worse now. <laughs> yeah. Well, we appreciate you watching our misery. And like we do every week, we're going to honor a fallen hero. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.